Welcome back, welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to kick off another budget build series. We just wrapped up the red white feather list, and now we're moving on to the blue white pairing, also known as Azorius. And we are going to be building towards a super friends list, which is, if you're not familiar, planeswalkers. Lots of them. So you're likely going to be seeing the top tier lists as either like Esper super friends or superheroes. Uh, or uh, like, oh, sorry, Jess guy, sorry, the name eluded me, uh, Super Friends, um, with, so either red or black splash. So we'll build towards those in the non-budget version. We're going to start off with the core being a blue-white version. Um, so generally with these decks, you're going to want to be playing control effects to be able to um, maintain the board presence and then gain like p incremental advantage with your Planeswalkers. Um, so as we do with all the budget series, the first list is usually all commons and uncommons minus the dual lands, which uh, just helps curve things out. Uh, they're important for our list um, and free cards as well. So in this case, actually we got to cut a settle. Uh, you only get one free settle, so double click there. Um, so with that said, this particular Sorry, it screwed up my thing. Um, this particular list, be, for it to be really effective, we need board wipes. And unfortunately, board wipes are usually in the rare slot. So this particular instance, we're, our budget version will not be solely uh, commons and uncommons. We are playing two cleansing novas. Uh, that's important for us to maintain board presence. So to quickly demo you through the deck, we have a couple control elements in Spell Pierce and Dovin's Veto versus like the Mirror or kind of more the non-creature decks. Opt and revitalize our card draw. Revitalize also gives us some life gain. Our targeted removal is both Prison Realm and Seal Away. This lets us play at instant speed. We're not overloading on counter spells in our deck because we're mainly a tap out control deck. That's where a lot of these Planeswalker decks are going. Um, because you're going to be tapping out for Planeswalkers, you're not really holding up mana. Um, our sweepers are Settle the Wreckage and Cleansing Nova. And then our Planeswalker suite is uh, Narset, which draws us a bunch of cards. Teferi, which kind of can hold back some attackers and tax our opponent. Uh, one Ashiok main is a way to keep them from searching their library, but really it's to keep the command the Dreadhorde and Phoenix decks in check. We can exile cards from their graveyard. Three Sahilis are able to generate us tokens and kind of sure up the board. Um, and then uh, we have Kamina, Kazmina, and Dispose. Um, taking a look at this list, because we don't have Teferis, we don't have a way to win the, de the game that well. So we're going to get rid of these to pose and we need an actual win condition because winning the game is half the battle. Um, so I am going to put in, we get it as a free card, the big uh, Nezahal. I can't spell Nez. It's the big dude. So generally, these decks win through Teferi. Um, you just kind of tuck Teferi or your opponent concedes. So Nezahal will be our win condition. And we should probably put one other way to actually close out the game. So let's see what's in white. Generally, you play like a Lyra, uh, something like that. Um, what's a good way for us to win? What is a good way for us to win? Sorry about that. I just want to be able to actually close out the game. Um, geez, not many sources. We can go for like the clear the mine and just keep shuffling our library in. Try to win that way. Um... You know what? Let's tweak it just a little and we'll play Mill. Psychic Corrosions in, Chemisters, Nezahal out, and go down one Kazmina. All right. Slight tweak. Sorry about that. The other thing is we need to win the game, and 
it's the best way to do so with this budget constraint without Teferi. Uh, sideboard, we have a Danto Vanguard, so we can go more aggro uh, against like the Control Mirror. Baffling Ends versus aggro, versus uh, like creature decks. Dovin's Veto versus Control. Teo versus like Mono Red or Attackers. Ashiok versus the Command decks and the Phoenix. Binding is Catch All Removal and the Wanderer. Uh, also versus Mono Red and can deal with like a lot of the uh, gruel stuff. Plus they're really sweet with the plain, the stained glass. Uh, so we will, as always, play a couple games in best of three and then a couple games best of one just so we can show off the deck in both variations. Um, if you're new to the series, we'll play about all three builds. So the super budget, like as cheap as possible, mid budget with about 10 rares or mythics, and then the non budget. And then I do a full write up explaining everything on the arena subreddit. You can check out, I've done it for seven of the color pairs right now. Uh, drop me a comment if you'd like a direct link for that. Um, and if you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe button, uh, it goes a long way. It's free, it could help out the channel a lot. Um, just helps me get up to the point where Google actually starts. Uh, paying for my coffee that I drink when I uh, play these games. Try not to ask for any money from people. This is more of a labor of love, but cover some stuff. So this hand does nothing, so we'll mull. Nah, it's better than nothing. Hopefully these, these cards have text in the matchup. Keep the third land. Okay, so it looks like the mirror, so likely these cards aren't going to be as useful. Hopefully it's like a Bant deck. Okay, it could be Esper Super Friends. Ah, they got the Thought Erasure down. So it should be pretty obvious you take the Sahili here. Land's not the best. Need some action. So opponent's equally not doing anything, which is encouraging, and we drew a psychic corrosion, which hopefully should start milling them. Silica Bell Hunt, we'll get rid of a Cleansing Nova. Okay, so we got rid of some stuff. Here, let's just see if we can hit some land. Second Psychic Corrosion's not bad. Mill some Teferis. Basically, he's like a fog, anyways. Waiting for the opponent to go here. They shock. Oh, they duress us. And Soren. Sorry, it's just. So they could get back Hero. Which I'm not completely against. We could play a second Psychic Corrosion. So land would be best. Narsa could buy us some time. 
Alright, let's just set up a second corrosion. So they'll smack it and our life total's still pretty high. Ah, they got deputy, which kinda gross. Land, land, white source. Land white source. White source. At least get them back. They have a veto. If they have veto, then we're dead. So here we just want to try to find a land. We're taking five, six, seven next turn. Okay, let's keep that on top. They got deputy back, but we'll just board wipe. Sorn will be able to get something back though, and then likely the Bell Haunt. So we're pretty far behind, especially if they have a counter spell. We need a second Prison Realm. <laughs> They're also at 38 life, which is fine, we're gonna mill them. Interesting. I could see why this list is still playing Thief. So we need to dig for removal. So we're pretty far behind. They attack in, they'll be able to take something good. Need to try to get lucky with the settle. So much commotion. Beacon kind of keeps us alive a turn. Also gives us a blocker. We can start fogging, but interesting to see what they took from us. Thirty-six cards. The mill plan's actually not bad against this matchup. I think we just need some more like vetoes and stuff. Alright, so neither of us are drawing cards. Tyrant Scorn. The weak feed the strong. So on 
unfortunately opt does literal nothing here. Where did our... What happened there? Okay, well, we lost now because this somehow ended up in the graveyard. Okay, that was weird. So let's blame it on a glitch. We are pretty dead, but weird nonetheless. Uh, I like Ashiok in this matchup. The baffling ends could come in. The binding could come in. Probably the vetoes. Spell pierce isn't as good. Uh, Kazmina's not as good. Probably go, probably go down all the Sahilis. And just shave down a Psychic Corrosion. We'll run it back. Sahili here, like, they have a lot of creatures. It's hard for us to relatively get it out unharmed. Like, you really want Sahili against, like, a 1-2 to two creature. Alright. Let's see what we can go with. Waiting on the opponent. Depending on the length of these games, I might just do two best of three, one best of ones. When you're playing control, it's a little bit slower. Um... Easy things you can throw in here is Baby Teferi or Big Teferi if you have any number of those. Those instantly make this deck a lot better. Um, I have a... I'll link it. There's one blue-white version. Like the... I was playing like the, the land that becomes a 3-3, three, three, like Civilized something or another. That's another good one to throw in there. Uh, just another blocker. The Dovins are okay, but there's probably better ones you should be looking into with like Baby Teferi from a tempo play is just really good. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, we can uh, mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. Um, I will keep the Prison Realm. It's a clean answer, which we don't have right now. Duress. So our hand's not the best to duress. Like, when you think about it, they'll take the Nova, but our other cards are just cycle. Oh, they take the Opt. It's quite aggressive. Just past the turn here. So they have the hero, so we'll just revitalize and then we're going to prison realm it. I'm doing this just so they don't get value. And. I think we want some more action. This is the turn they get to ferry down, and if they do, it just shuts off our counters. Yeah. Just to be sh just to be sure. You know, let's not blame it on the shuffler. Uh, so they have the bell hunt here. I'm just going to discard that. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot. We Nova here. And then we drop down Ashiok and exile their graveyard. So if we could dodge like a Soren for the turn, it'd be good. That's fine. Uh... So here's the line. This gets a lot of value, so I think we need to 
It opens us up to being duressed or thought erasured. But I think we need to do this. Okay. Um we're gonna do this now. might entice them to go after Ashiok, but getting rid of all these creatures has been pretty good for us. Soren was pretty much what won them the game last time. Yeah, that worked out great. Focus here. Finish it off with Oath. Okay, so we got Narsets for days. Gonna take the seal away, do this now before they have effects, and now we're in a pretty good spot. We've turned off their card draw. Uh, that's a little rough. I wanted it as a backup. What did we put at the bottom? Doesn't show us. I think there was a settle there. So we're just going to baffling end. I'm going to hold the land in hand for now. Bluff like we have a counter. They've come out with just a bunch of thieves. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. Okay. Our girl Narset's keeping us in it. I know and prepare. Uh, I messed that up. Should have taken Dovin, we could have actually cast it. That was an error. This is a cleaner answer because they could have been attacked, but now they get a, a shot in. Uh, interesting technique. We'll see what they've been. Uh, I want both of those. Could be something like a veto they took from us. We've been the couple. To fairy. Which of these beautiful? Oh, no they're opting not to. They don't get the card draw. Let's see what we get. So I just want to play out the turn, like. Play this out first, see what we get. They might have the veto. I'm gonna Ixalan's binding. Can't they have the veto there? Um I actually think Teferi's probably worse at this point. Because Teferi can tuck any of these. We have creature removal, we don't really have planeswalker removal. We only have one more prison realm. They are getting value off us though with this thief. Whenever possible, kill the thief. If, like as you see here, it's going unchecked. It's beating us both from a mill standpoint and taking our best cards. Uh, they bounce. Okay, so I'm. If we don't draw something like reasonable this turn, they're going to bounce one of these. I don't think we could win at this point. You know what? I'm not done yet.
we are pretty far behind in this match. Yeah. Alright, we'll call it quits. We had a couple good plays, but this is arguably the best deck in the format right now that we're facing off against. And not having our own Teferis does hurt us a bit. Almost got him the mill game for game one. Usually these decks, when you splash like the red or the black, become a lot more useful because you either like close out the game really quick with Sarkin, and you get cl uh, Deafening Clarion as a three mana sweeper. We'll play first. Uh, I'll keep this. I'm going to shock on one to opt. Really just want to find more lands with this hand. Keep. Um, so this suggests to me that they're likely on the Simic Ramp deck. So we're just going to dump this down now. I don't think they play... Yeah, opponents likes the emojis. Hello. Can you beat Mel? <laughs> okay, so they blink of an eye. That's pretty good value for us, actually. They didn't get a card draw off it. You got another blink. They opt here. This might be a Wilderness Reclamation deck, actually. Okay, so it is Reclamation. I don't know if... Oh, that actually taxes the opponent quite well. Um, I was saying, I don't know if we can win without drawing our Ash Shiok to exile their graveyard. So the reason being is Nexus of Fate um, shuffles back. So we're just going to use Dovin as a tax effect. There's no point of down ticking right now. Makes our chemisters in sight cost five, which is really good. I'm gonna play Kazmina out next turn and just start pressuring him. So they might be trying to go for Nexus here, which I'm just gonna veto. This game one goes really long. I'm just gonna like drop the match since it's unlikely that these will be quick. So I just want some pressure here. Uh, we'll get rid of the cleansing nova. Just pass turn. Just start putting some pressure. I don't like Nexus. Uh, makes the games really long, and from a entertainment standpoint, I don't. Nobody needs to sit around and watch this guy spin his wheels, or girl. We don't know the gender of Grizzly. They're at thirty-seven.
Okay, so Sahili can start getting us some action, hopefully. Every day is a new okay, so there's a Nexus. So they also can't chemisters in sight here. Hopefully this resolves, could give us the pressure we need. Sweet. End the turn. Nexus flips. So they effectively have three draw steps a turn with Nexus. With uh, the Scanta draw plus the filtering. 28 cards. They keep it on top, so it's likely a nexus. They float a mana. Alright. If they start looping, I'm just gonna call this quits. Who shows up in casual queue with nexus? You know what? This isn't entertaining for anyone. So bring those in. Spell Pierce are pretty good. Let's get rid of the ops. Get rid of the seal aways. Prison Realm's fine. Dovin's actually okay. Settle's gone. Cleansing Nova's gone. Go like that. Alright, let's play first. We will keep. Spell Pierce is actually pretty good. We can try to catch something. Okay, so I actually like Ashiok here. Um, so this is a bit of a tricky hand because they can very easily get down a Nexus or um, Wilderness Wreck and we don't have an answer for it, but because they could Growth Spiral, which they likely have because they shocked here. Growth spiral. Hopefully, they don't have the reclamation. No reclamation one time. It's pretty good for us. So I'm just going to try start trying to exile. Narset should actually shut them down too. Frilled Mystic. I was not expecting that. Just past turn. Just block here, keep Sahili alive. Uh, I don't like Nexus. <laughs> Alright, let's do a couple best of ones. 
so generally Nexus brings in a creature package post board. We still had the Prison Realms, and like so we usually take out the sweepers. But uh, not getting that Ashy Octa stick was pretty bad. See how we do against Mono Red. Opt on one, revitalize on two, hopefully Narset or Corrosion on three, let's go. Gotta remember to change my land art. Playing one up Field of Ruin, get rid of those greedy mana bases. Opponent miss a line drop. Uh, we kept that because it sh meant our second blue source for Narset. But now drawing lions, no bueno. Okay, Doom Descender will just revitalize. It's probably a Sapperling style deck. Uh, all lands doesn't help. Um, I'm just gonna get this going now. The earlier you get it down, the better. Yeah, Yavi Shepherd. Settles pretty good. Thins out their deck a bit. Uh, here. I'm going to do field just in case we can field them off a of dual source. And then we could have still revitalized. Path of... Discovery. Just getting the life. And they're at forty three cards. Um, since we got a Narset. I might just get them to commit more to the board. We played terrible mana there. Didn't gain the life. Um, just go seal away. Just play it on the Doom Descender. They don't get the token on the... The downside. Here they're gonna attack Narset anyways. Twilight Prophet. That is a scary one. Oh, they are just ignoring Narset. Disrespect. Uh, here, Dovin's probably better, um, a way to turn. So we're going to hold up Settle here. Tender shoots definitely something we're gonna want to mill. 
Let's see if they fall for the attack all. So we're gonna do this first, just to see if we can mill some more lands. We are content with the saturation of lands that we have. Settle you. Alrighty, so mill some more, 34 cards, so here we can just set up a Kazmina. Just discard that, play a Dovin, and then just basically fog this for a number of turns. They also, I explore gets around it. Perhaps a pair of stilts. Okay, so they got another deaths. What do you do? Sack two creatures. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. I don't think so. We'll just wipe the board here. You don't want him to get back like uh, they have some bigger things in the grave. Um, here, I'm gonna dump a Narset, then play out another Narset. Uh, we'll just take Prison Realm. We're gonna win through Mill this game. A few things can withstand my careful scrutiny. All right, we'll run it back for one more, and that'll wrap it up. All righty, we'll keep this hand. Got a nice smattering of walkers. I hope they do the stained glass. I want the uh, the Japanese alternate art. It's still like ten bucks for an Uncam, and I got my play set of Sahilis. Now I need uh, my Ashiaks on the plays even better. All right. 
this isn't bad. We'll gain some life, especially against a creature deck. Mono green. Ooh, elves. You know what elves does? Dies to board wipes. I'm just gonna get this going now. Just distract them for a bit, hopefully. It also forces them to not be, like, pumping out their entire hand. We're gonna need to find a board wipe sooner than later. Beast Whisper. It's the engine of the deck. Of note, that turns off Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay, we got a Galta. Um, Spell Pierce doesn't strike me as a card that's going to be needed in this matchup. So we'll see if they incorrectly adapt first. Second Beast Whisper. Ooh, and a banner. They are... They are comboing off. Um, Ashiox, less utility. Kazminas can help us dig deeper. Okay, sweet. We got Settle. Alright, so... That's how you troll your opponent. You give them the GG, settle the wreckage. It's the only proper way to play settle the wreckage. So we'll see what they come up with here. Second banner. Just settle here. This would have been good with Ashiok. They wouldn't have got any of the lands. They didn't even adapt Growth Chamber Guardian, which is interesting. Seems like a miss. 37 cards. Let's see if we can get a removal spell first. So we got Corrosion for next turn. I look forward to seeing your that Fog Steel Leaf. I'm excellent, and you're, well, not. Uh, no attacks. Gonna get beat down by a 3 3 Lana War Elf. Opponents at 34 cards. Wonder what they're splashing for. If it's red or green. No card draw for you. No. You know draw cards. So we'll see what they attack into. Uh dead regardless, so no blocks. I think from the opponent's standpoint, Dovin may have made more sense, but I guess you get the this turns on their card draw again. Really 
Really need a board wipe. Well, they're almost gonna self mill. You are not a board wipe. You also are not a board wipe. It's better to be lucky than to be good. All right, so just play the field of ruin out, say go. Sorry, just checking. I think my Amazon delivery came. So the restocking. So they've refilled their hand pretty well. <laughs> We're kind of dead again. So that was not what we wanted. I'm just gonna have to fog here a couple turns. I'm gonna hold this up just to see if we can fake them like we have a settle. They have 18 cards left. Taking 8, 11 this turn. Maybe less if they go after Dovin. Removal wise. Still have a Nova. Okay, so they're respecting Dovin. This kind of gives us a turn. Their board's massive. I was incorrect. I'm going to field the ruin just to th thin the deck. So it's our turn. Take him off the blue source. That might be a counter spell. One more board wipes, really, what we need. in library uh, 9 13 that's oh, 14 22 yeah we're dead all right little too late they went off that was a cool list anyways I'm gonna wrap it up we'll come back with the mid budget hopefully later this week my team could potentially win the NBA championship tonight so and that's my focus right now. Thanks for those tuned in. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe. Have a great one.